and welcome to episode one, season one of Guernsey Football Club. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we've got Hayward Heath in the first game today, or literally a few hours before that game. Um, quickly going through what's happened in the pre-season, it's been okay. Um, Brighton was a bit of an ab um, abomination, but we did get 7,000 quid from it, which for a club this size is, is, is pretty big. Uh, the, the following games have been sort of okay, um, nothing much to mention. Eastley is obviously a slightly more difficult game because where they are, they're National League, so they're three levels above. Um, but all in all, not too bad. The FA Cup's been drawn, and we're against Averley. Um They are the same level, so they're Tier 8, they're Bostic North 1. Um, could be quite a tough game, I think. You know, it'd be interesting. It'd be nice to have a little um, FA Cup run. FA trophies are cool as well, but I say FA Cup would be nice to have a, a good run in. Uh, if we have a quick look at the squad at the moment, um, we have brought in a couple of decent players. So, firstly, let's have a look at Charlie Higgins. Uh, he has come from Southampton originally, never played a game. Um, has gone up through Bashley and Gosport. Gosport, not, not too bad a level, are they? Either. They are the same level as us, actually. Uh, played two games last season. But looking at him, he looks pretty solid. He's got solid physicals. He's 22, so he's, he's got room to, to get a little bit better. But I say he is four and a half stars for this club. So, yeah, very good. And he'll be playing in his, his central midfield attack role that he likes. Also brought in a youngster called Charlie Fripp. So if we have a quick look at Charlie. Um, yeah, he is three and a half star at his age of 18, which is not bad at all. He has had time at Bournemouth and Yeovil, so... Decent level, never played a game yet. Should be interesting to see, but he's yeah, had a, a couple of solid games. Again, for his, this age, physicals are really quite good. Got some useful uh, mentors, decisions, and, and positioning are pretty good for where he's gonna be playing, which is basically right back. Um, marking and tackling, okay. Um, they can get better, but he's got five-star potential, so yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Um, over and above those, there's a few other little ones going on. Tamil Roach came in as well, but he's one more for the future, left back. Um, had a little bit of a to-do, because our captain originally was a gentleman by the name of Simon Gill, and he um, is now on loan. Basically, he's 35. Um, he was never really going to get a game. Um, his leadership is five. And we have many better possible leaders in the team. So um, I decided to do what you sometimes shouldn't really do, but at this age I think I would, is actually uh, change the captain. And he didn't like that very much at all, so now he's out on loan. Um, I didn't particularly want to try and sell him. He, I put him on the transfer list and nobody was going to come for somebody who's 35 anyway. He's only on 25 quid a week anyway, so yeah, fine with that. Um, as you may have seen at the very start, the finances, though they look pretty good, are actually spending about 250 quid more on wages per, per week than possibly should do. Not that fussed about that at the moment. I mean, there's going to be the possibility of getting rid of some wage. Um, we've got a few here. I mean, Seb Skill and 120 quid a week. He's not playing, so I basically want to try and get get rid. Um, Dominic Home, <laughs> unfortunately, is now our captain. Um, not looking like he's going to get many games at 34. Um, maybe he moves on relatively soon, and that's another hundred pounds off the wage budget. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We we'll see how it goes. Uh, team report. Uh, let's just have a quick look at where we are with that. Um, yeah. Joe Charles is another guy we brought in. He's now our best attacker. Again, decent physicals, decent technical. They're not too bad. I mean, yeah, his finishing is not brilliant. He scored a, a decent free kick in in pre season with a nine free kick taking, so that's not too bad. Um, but over and above that, playing this sort of diamond narrow formation just to try and squeeze everything. Uh, Fripp's come in at two and a half stars, playing on where he's playing at the moment, um, which was better than Simon Gill was. Um, he's going to be a lot better than that though. Uh, brought in another chap called Arthur Warren, another 19 year old, so the, the, the people we're bringing in tend to be quite young, uh, which I'm fine with. Uh, he's another Yeovilite originally, so um, 
we've got people who have been at bigger clubs even if they hadn't been playing for them so that's not too bad so well, on to our, our start screen for the game our tactics uh, as you can see 4-4-2 dynamo narrow I've actually set the pitch this season at home to be only 55 metres wide to really really squeeze that uh, makes any use of wingers a little bit less uh, of a problem for us defensively wise because well, Govain and then Higgins in the middle will be sort of covering their, their relevant sides anyway Canyon will shuttle as well as De La Mer, so um, that's cool now we're going to start obviously with uh, Stanton in goal who's our best player not by a long way now but he is our best player um, Harry Tobin on the left Frank Tobin in the middle with Dodd and Fripp Tom De La Mer, uh, uh defensive midfield um, then we've got Govain at the centre mid and Charlie Higgins there as the box to box basically just trying to link everything up I've tried him as a Car well, I've tried a Carolero there um, in pre-season it doesn't seem to work at this level uh, maybe as we go up the leagues it might might be possible to do that but then when we go up the leagues we're, leagues, we're going to be changing tactics anyway so I'm not fussed with that yeah, Kenya is a, a attacking midfielder then we've got our 15 year old James Evans up front Oh, he's, no, he's turned, sorry, 16 now. He turned 16 in July. Um, heading at 15 and finishing at 10 and what I'm looking at at the moment. Actually, re reasonable um, physical for somebody his age. And he's six foot three, one, one meter 91. So that's pretty cool. Um, and our other, uh, well, a new signing. Evans was here at the start, but a, a new signing. Um, Joe Charles, who we had to look at earlier. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, I don't know what to make from this one. I mean, the pre-season has been okay, but it's pretty difficult to know where you're going. To see they're playing your, your usual um, four, one, two, three, really. Um, hoping that our midfield will really start to sort of you know, batter down the middle here and, and open up some, some gaps during the game. Let's just see how it goes. Um, what's best for today? First game, let's passionately say something that's a little bit neutral let's give the fans performance and then we can go in and start doing some bits here it's not, they're not going to do anything i've found this already this season they're not they're not really reacting to any of these um, team talks at the moment though the roles are okay so i'm not really that fast well it's nothing much happening at the moment um maybe not a bad thing so fripp chucks it in higgins oh and carlos Canya, bang First goal of the season, four minutes in, so that's amazing. Might slow that down slightly because that was a little bit quick. A good chest down from Evans, tap across. Oh my God, what the hell was that goalkeeper doing? That's pretty poor, I must admit. But hey, don't care. One nil, superb. Let's bring it on. Just going to take this down to slightly faster because that was a little bit too fast. It's brilliant. One nil. Oh, this uh, Football Manager 2019 stuff's easy, isn't it? not bad at all um, I mean looking in, in at the team we've got at the moment they're relatively young uh, but they've got a few older heads in there so that's yeah that's good oh I've got a yellow card for Charlton Govain after 14 minutes so it's uh, yeah midfield is somewhere where we've got I mean we've, we've got a couple of players that we can bring on later on I'm not actually playing a pushing style at the moment anyway I'm I'm playing the uh, don't jump into tackles um, tactic, so hoping that that helps with injuries as well, because I've found that happens a lot in this game. Where you, you, your injuries can absolutely kill you at this level. Um, yeah, 28 minutes in, looking good. Looking good. I mean, yeah, they've had four shots to R1, but R1 was on target and R1 went in, so, so that's cool. Um, I might give him a quick shout actually to just encourage him which they didn't like so I will uh, yeah keep my mouth shut but yeah I mean they've got I mean their right back looks shattered already so I might have to push on at him a bit I think so okay Napper's got a chance oh okay take free kick exploit still on is it nobody followed them no defender followed him whatsoever. I thought that was fixed with the last update. Possibly not. I'll have to keep an eye on that. So it looks like we're coming into half time. Um, 
all square. Yes, we've not had we've had the possession, but we've not had the shots. They've had far more shots than us. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look at the tactics here. What we're gonna do is, I think, so we've got shorter. Uh, we're working ball into the box, but I'm gonna take that off because maybe that's what's stopping us having a little bit more go at goal. Um, I'm gonna raise the tempo up. I think I'm gonna take it back to standard because I think the just the slow tempo is causing a bit of problem as well. Um, yeah, I think a 60 minute sub might be the way forward here. Um, maybe a couple, but I'm not gonna rush into it yet. Yeah, two strikers not having brilliant games at the moment. It might be that we're not getting the ball through to them. It might be the work ball into the box um, tactic that was causing the issue there. So I think I'm assertively going to say we're not doing badly at all. No, they're not even that fussed about that either. Let's passionate um, assertively say. Yeah, I appreciate the effort. Okay, appreciate the effort. Looks like it's working. There's a lot more to come from you. You've got what it takes. Yeah. Passionately, no, assertively say, um, unlucky. So well, a couple of people like liked it, don't hey, whatever. But yeah, let's start the second half. See where we go. Notice how narrow the pitch is um, on the screen. That's not a bad thing. So uh, yeah, let's see what goes on during this half. So we we do seem to have quite a bit of possession here. I mean, sixty one percent possession. But we don't seem to be doing much with it. Um, that might just be a tweak that we we'll need to have a look at. Um, all right, so Higgins into Govain on yellow to Charles. Oh my God, he's just hit the bar from 30. That would have been a cracker. Oh, I've got a bit, bit more into the game here. So Tobin to Govain across to Delamere. Higgins passing out to Kenya, the scorer. From, oh, good shot. Good save from Adam. Um, yeah, looking better. Looking better. Penalty? No, free kick. Hey, well, I have two chances, that's pretty good. Right, I am going to make a sub. So I notice centre midfield is um, looking a little bit shattered. So I think what I'm going to do. So we have Marn, who likes playing Mizzado or Carriero. I mean, I, at the moment, I think I'm going to swap Higgins to centre mid attack because he does like that and I think I might bring Kieran Marn in but as a Cavalero see if he can shuttle up and down um, try and link up sort of defensive play up to Carlos Canya um, yeah yeah that's cool let's play so yes that little bit just before the, the um, sub there did did look pretty good. There was a little bit more going on. I think if we can just sort of, yeah, try and take a few of these shots. We've had two on top. We've had more on target than them anyway, so that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Um, 70 minutes down. Nothing much seems to be happening. Let us make another sub. So I've got Young. I mean, Evans hasn't had a... Right, Evans is a 6.2 as a you know, he, he wants to be a target man and that's a problem Young wants to be a poacher okay so I'm going to set him as poacher I'm going to try and do what they want to do which is Charles as a pressing forward but in support as opposed to as attack um, yeah I mean it, 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 Craig Young uh, 31 year old likes playing as a shadow striker <laughs> interestingly hmm do I do that then? Yeah, let us reverse that. Go back in, and I think I'm going to yeah swap out. I'm going to swap out Carlos Canya and have a shadow strike and almost play a free up front. Change Evans to his target man. He wants to be a target man in support. Yeah, this doesn't seem to. I mean, this is a balanced mentality. It doesn't seem to have too much in the way of attack. I've got two attack there. What I think I'm going to do is go to positive. I think I'm going to really try and push on. Um, the only issue possibly is Charlie Higgins. He's on the seven point two though. He's been playing very well. Um, he might be on rest. I think after this game. 
but they've got the ball just before we make the change so let's hope above all hopes that this doesn't lead to anything for them um, they're playing it around quite nicely and what was that offside was it yeah didn't look offside to me but hey ho not going to worry about that all right last 10 um, yeah it looks like this is going to come down to being a one all is there anything else we can do? We've got our third sub still to happen. I think I might do that now. Let's have a look. Um, so we've got a defensive midfielder or a central midfielder. So I might. I mean, Higgins is shattered. He's on 67%. Um, I think I might. Paul Warren in. What does he want to be? He wants to. He can be anything, really. I think I'm going to set him on automatic just so he can yeah, do what needs to be done. He's. Uh, I'd use him more as a defensive midfielder, I think, usually. But, yeah, let's just give that a go. Um, anything I can do, I don't know, I might. Might do a quick shout and push forward. Let's just give it a go. And there's a good play in the middle there. A young to, to Warren, back to Tonga the Mare to out to Fripp. You're being there. Really does press quite well. That's over the shoulders at the back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was good play. Good play. Um, oh, just off the wall. So let's uh, take this corner and see. We haven't got many up. I've not really pressed the, the free kicks and corners because we don't seem to have many people who can do anything. Oh, shot just over from Warren. So yeah, it looks like unless unless we can do something very quickly, we're we're. Settling him for a one all first up. Though we have got this highlight. Oh, it looks like he's clipped the bar. Ooh, unfortunate. And time is ticking away. This is the last highlight, I think. Delamere to Marne. Back to Fritz. Delamere to Warren. Get the ball in. Uh, now it's all over. One all. Not bad, um, yeah, good possession. I think the more we play together like that, the, the, that possession is really gonna play, uh, really gonna pay, I should say. Uh, 11 shots, five on target, that's not bad. Surprised with the total fouls, because we aren't playing, uh, uh, stay on our feet. So, yeah, so let's uh, quickly say to them, I'm happy what I saw out there. Some, they didn't like the fact, okay, so that's good in a way, I think they, don't like the fact that one all at home is a good enough result. It's not okay. I know where to go for the future. I'm gonna have not have a go at them for that. I don't think, but I, I maybe being a bit too positive. Hey ho. So game one done. Um, not too bad. I think there are quite a few positives there. Um, I'll be looking definitely at that link up play between midfield and attack, though it did come on well in the second half when I made those a couple of changes. So I think. Yeah, more a positive uh, rather than a balanced um, control possession play will, will work really well. So yeah, yes, most uh, quite a few debuts there, but that that was a pretty good goal from Carlos Canya, uh, even though the goalkeeper was a bit rubbish. Um, my plans for this season are most probably to not rush through it too quickly, but give it about 10 episodes I reckon so I think next game I think I will come back for Averley. Um it's just nice to have an FA Cup game really It'd just be, be be good to to get in there and have a look that's good actually attendance of 630 for a home game at this level is yeah is superb um, that will obviously help the finances a little bit as well so we've got some uh, match day income there will really help us even though, though I'm about 250 quid over on on the budget um, but yeah thank you for watching hopefully this is the kind of content that will uh, <laughs> well I'll get better and better as I do it hopefully uh, cut the waffle cut the cut the chaff out and um, yeah come back next time for a, an FA Cup preliminary game against Avely check was that home or away oh, that's at home as well so they're going to have to travel or us most probably flying from Stansted um, so yeah see you next time I plan to get these out about three a week, so most probably Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, 
I'm not tied into that. I mean, I, I work from home, um, so I've got a little bit of flexibility about when I can take do these um, videos and whatnot, um, and when I can cut them, because I'm using Adobe, um, just to you know, sort of bring it all together so I can get it back on, out onto YouTube. But yeah, yeah, hopefully, yeah, I'm hopeful for this season. I think we can possibly get into the playoffs, which would be superb, because that's exactly what the board wants anyway. So. So, yep, see you next time uh, for our game against Avery in the FA Cup. See you soon. Bye.